about some of the, like your some of the adversities you've had just through injuries and stuff. You've had a pretty you've had a couple of big spells, man, that are just significant. I mean, whatever you're comfortable with, too. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, well, I'm talking about the the, the most recent one uh, from five. I think it's five years ago now. Um, I ended up getting a uh, upper respiratory infection. And I, when I came back down from, from Michigan, I visited my grandmother um, and I went to the doctors. No one did a chest x-ray at any point. I'm going to say that as a caveat that I couldn't breathe and I knew something was seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think you've known that I have sleep anxiety from not being able to breathe. It triggers it. So when I can't breathe it, I cause the panic. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure I was a little bit jumpy at the time when I, I couldn't breathe because literally I was in oxygen debt because like, you know, I had what turned out to be pneumonia, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So every time I went in for a checkup, they would tell me you just have anxiety. And never actually do a chest x-ray, never actually give me anything or help me out in any way. They kept saying, you are clearly just have anxiety. And it got worse and worse and worse. And it got to the point where one day uh, I was trying to sleep. And uh, I, I was having pain, kind of my lower rib area. Didn't know about the signs of pneumonia at the time. I thought I was like coughing, like I'm coughing. So I was like, oh, that makes sense. You know, like mm -hmm. my intercostal muscles, that oh, science, exercise science, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I hadn't been sleeping at all. And I finally fall asleep and I wake up on a side slant with like felt like a toothache but my entire left side of my body and i woke up screaming literally i didn't look at my mother i was screaming mommy like mommy mommy like you know what i mean yeah and uh so the adrenaline i got myself together and i drove straight to the hospital and i already made up my mind i was like if cop tries to pull me over he can arrest me inside the building because i'm right. not stopping Meet me at the end. I, I, i'm dying right now and like i literally was i didn't know that but i felt like it that's what and uh so i get there Two days prior to that, the same hospital told me you can't die from anxiety. So I get there and all of a sudden they realize, oh, shit, this it's pretty serious. You got a hole in your lung. We can't do anything for you. So I had Vanderbilt Hospital had to come down and get me uh, to get there. I was there for a couple I mean, Because days. he's so critical, people. They have to transfer yeah, them I had, a more urgent care facility. Yeah. Yeah. So I was in ICU for 10 days. I had both lungs, one of them completely flattened out. Um, they put me in for a basic chest tube surgery. They realized immediately that it was more serious than that. So you're not put under for that. And I remember vividly watching the the horror and the, the doctor's face of like, oh, shit. And that's because the and pneumonia then I, was in there? And they yeah, weren't so, anticipating that? Because it was five gallons of pus oh. coated over my lung. They had to literally get inside it and peel it back with like a peeler almost, like a banana or an orange peeler, I would say and suck out five gallons of pus and degree inflate my lungs. So I had no, like, basically no lung capacity. The night before my surgery was set up, the only reason I was on a respirator or uh, what's the other one? Yeah. Ventilator? Uh, ventilator. Thank God I'd be dead right now if they told me on a ventilator. Because my core was so strong, I was forcing my body to breathe. You know, I had uh, like 104 degree temperature, and I'm literally forcing it with my, 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 my abs. Wow. You know, all night long, I fell asleep in a chair, like sitting upright. And I almost fell out of it, you know, obviously. And uh, so when they go me into surgery, so I'm out for why well, I didn't know it's time, but it turned out to be a day and a half. And I come to respirator in my throat. I can't talk, being too, but I'm trying to like pull my panic a little bit. I'm kind of like trying to figure out I'm all drugged up and have no idea what's going on. And uh, my girlfriend was there and she's like, what day is it? This is Tuesday when I went in for the surgery. So I'm like, Tuesday. You know, I, I wrote it down. I had a piece, I couldn't talk. I had a piece of paper. I'm writing allegedly, whatever. And she's like, no, it's Wednesday. And it's like six o'clock in the night. So I'm like, what? I'm so confused. I have no idea. Yeah, totally. And then she goes, she goes, did they tell you what happened to you? And I was like, you know, I kind of pointed to the chest tube things. Because I did a chest tube thing stuck in me. She was like, no, it was worse than that. You know what I mean? And then she told me that story of what it was. So what happened was, so I mean, and, and I coded twice during surgery. So, you know, I'm lucky to be alive, 100%. Maybe I'm sending my blood work to CDC, and they never determined what it was because there was nothing catch. They put me on so many antibiotics, nothing was catching. So they were like, it's like some mystery illness. You know what I mean? Wow. And uh, so I'm super lucky to be alive, super thankful for that, obviously. And uh, what was weird was the, the doctor, uh, I was put in a hallway, apparently. And uh, the doctor that did my surgery that saved my life, she's a woman from Canada, glasses, brown hair, whatever. She was going, I got, I got to meet her. Um, she, had, she showed me a picture of the tray of junk they pulled out of me because she was super excited because she's a doctor. Mm -hmm. So it kind of ruined my moment because I'm like wanting to cry and her shoulder, you saved my life. And she's like, check out this garbage pail kid shit. You know what I mean? And I'm all like, Ugh. totally took me out of it. It's anyway, more traumatizing for sure. Right. Um, 
Yeah. So then she tells me the story, what happened. So that doctor uh, was in an emergency surgery, or something else that happened to get canceled, which was the only reason why she was available to take me from that room and immediately go for it. Wow. If she was not available for me, I probably wouldn't have made it probably another hour or two. So it was kind of one of those by chance, you know, situations, you know, so the, to go back into you, how do you feel about training in Columbia? You know me, I've always wanted to be something bigger than what I have done in life. You know what I mean? I didn't do the sports like I would have, should have, could have. There's stories behind that. You know, I wanted to get on Big Brother. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a dream of mine. I ended up having the head care staying, which kind of took me out of the run, even though I moved to a certain level on in the interview process. Felt pretty good about that. Mm-hmm. Um, all those little things, you know, just didn't work out. For me. And I was always like, man, I'm like, I always felt I was better than that. I'm bigger than that. After going through what I went through there, too, while I was in the hospital, I do remember thinking vividly, like, maybe this is good enough. You know what I mean? I have all these people that waited for me to come back to the gym. I, I had to be out for like six weeks before I got back to being able to do my job. Every single one of those people waited on me and waited for me to get back healthy. And you know what I mean? I didn't lose anyone in the process. Amazing. You know what I mean? The amount Amazing. of love I got supported when I came back. People you know, didn't even know me at that gym that I never talked to before. That you'd assume we had beef with each other. You know, sometimes dudes look at each other kind of like, yeah, that's weird. You know, whatever. They were yeah. like, how you doing, man? You know what I mean? Like, it was cool. Yeah, I know. It was cool. Yeah. 